Okay, since the last time we've set the workpiece up in the mill on the table, it's set against some button stops which are a close fit into the T slot. So we know we are in line with the, the T slots on the table. It's held down at three positions with some clamps and as you can see there's another stop another stop at that end of the table and it overhangs the mill table quite a bit so we're going to have to take a, few, a couple of bites at this to uh, to do the full length of the slot but uh, working with the equipment we've got it's the best we can do I'll set up now to edge find the inside edge there and then we can uh, get the distance from that inside edge to the centre point of our 5mm slot. Okay. Edge finding, we'll use a, a Starrett edge finder um, that will go into the, uh, into the collet chuck. We'll just slightly offset it up there and that way. Bring a table over. Bring the edge finder down. Lock the quill at that point. We'll set it going to slow speed nice and steady is enough we don't need to go too fast with these and we'll take a table move a table over on the y-axis until we start to contact the edge finder Just starting to make contact, and as we get closer to that edge finder, when we get to the point where it's spinning through, we'll see the edge finder just ever so slightly kick. Starting to run through now, and I'll watch for the little kick. Goes. At that point I'll zero the DRO up here, I'll show you that in a second. And back out. And we'll go in again. Put a couple of times just to make sure that we're on the edge. going in nice and steady there's a kick yep, once more back out take the backlash out the table in Okay. Okay. From uh, from the edge, we zeroed there on the edge of the workpiece. We obviously want to be in the centre where the slot's going to be. The ed the, the edge finder is uh, nominal six millimeters. Actually, measures a little bit under that. So half of that edge finder tip is actually two point nine eight millimeters we want to be across 
to the inside edge of our slot which is 15.9 and we want to be in the centre of where the milling cutter is going to run. The milling cutter is going to, the slot's 5 millimetres, the milling cutter is 2.5 millimetres. That gives us 15.9 plus 2.98 plus 2.5 mil. We want to move across 21.38 which should put us in the centre of where the slot needs to be. So uh, let's move the, uh, the table across there. Going across. Quite awkward, I am working round the tripod here until I get myself a, a smaller camera. 21.37, 37, 5. 21.38. That should put us in the middle of the groove. So a quick check. There we go. And down over the centre. Yeah, just overhanging a little bit each side of the, the drawn line. 6mm-ish edge finder on a 5mm pair of 5mm lines. Right, we'll set up with a cutter. We'll, run in. we'll set her up. Go in and the milling cutters in. Show that little setup there. Milling cutters in. We're just at the edge. We actually have a slot drill, so we could plunge straight in. Just get a depth of cut set up. It's measured from the other. The old workpiece is three point seven eight. Yeah. Not massively critical, so we'll go for we'll go for three point eight. Just double check over here. Yeah, three point eight. So start her up. Sounds going to be like over the noise of the milling cutter. We go down to just start the touch. Just touching there. Zero at that point. We'll go in 3.7, 3.8. Steady progress here. Five mil milling cutter. Can't put a lot of side load on it. So say I'm pretty much at the full depth that I want to go. So uh, it'll take a while. The ends somewhere in the distance. I'll be back in a bit. making progress to reposition the clamps to reposition again as soon as we start to approach the, uh, the clamp just beyond the cutter head there as far as I can go with the table travel at that point slot's coming out nicely there we'll uh, stop and reposition the, uh, the workpiece and uh, carry on in a moment. Nicely repositioned here, just uh, moved along underneath the clamps 
still up to the stops on the sides, so they're still parallel with the T slots. We'll um, get ready to uh, re go and join the action again. Around about the, the halfway mark at this point. They're nice and steady with the feed, manually feeding. I've only got one 5mm cutter, it's a car bike, it's on the car bike. So uh, I'll try not to make it go um, pinned and fly off on the uh, I'm going to do my way up, I've got another cup of soap. Just taking my time here. It's a long slot. About the longest I've made on this machine. 